How's it going everyone? I'm Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to be talking about audio stutter. Now this could be anything. This could be vocal stutter. This could be guitar. This could be bass. This could be your damn xylophone track. I don't care. We are going to be stuttering this thing across a certain period of space and it's going to be freaking awesome. Alright, so let's get into it right here. I have this song in front of me, this awesome song, but what I'm going to do to make it just a little bit better you guessed it, audio stutter. All right, so let's check it out. I'm going to be stuttering, or yeah, I'm going to be stuttering these two pieces of audio right here. So uh, let's take a listen to what the track sounds like beforehand. All right, so that kiss me is going to be stuttered across that period of time, and I'm going to stutter it in let's say half beat increments alright we have to make up our mind beforehand about the increments that we are going to be um, it, we're going to be stuttering it across and so I'm just gonna arbitrarily say half of a measure alright so what we're gonna need to do is the most important piece to doing this is the cutting tool so I'm gonna press escape and then go down to the scissors tool or escape five there we are and then I'm gonna select these two pieces of audio now since we're stuttering I don't want you to be afraid of cutting right in the middle of a waveform. Alright, so I'm going to cut right there. And then since we're doing half uh, measure increments, I'm going to be cutting in one of these or one of these beats, I guess you can say. So let's delete that front part. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two pieces that I cut out of the main audio file. I'm going to press option and I'm going to drag them over half of a measure and then another half of a measure. Alright, so there you are. That is the basis of a stutter. Now what I'm going to do really quickly is grab these two audio files that I cut out. I'm going to merge them back together. So I set them back to normal. And then another thing, since we're cutting these audio files right in the middle of the waveform, there might possibly be cracks and pops. And we do not want that to happen. So go down to the escape fade tool or escape zero. And let's do some little fade ins and fade outs on these tracks so that those clicks and pops do not happen. All right. Just a second. Just a second. Almost done. And done. All right. So let's take a listen to this very quickly and see what this sounds like. I all right, now that's kind of a slow stutter, and uh, like I said at the beginning, I arbitrarily selected a half beat stutter or a half measure stutter. But what I'm going to be like, you know what? That's too slow. I'm going to speed it up by a factor of two. So I'm going to be selecting these two pieces, clicking and dragging over. All right, now. Why that stutter sounds like a stutter is because there's dead space in between the audio files. If I were to say play this, it's going to sound like a record skipping. There's not going to be any dead space in between the audio files that you cut and copied out. So it's going to sound like this. All right, that's not really what we're going for. What we're going for is that nice quick awesome stutter and like I said we need some dead space so I'm gonna grab all those audio files I'm gonna click I'm going to create some dead space in between those so let's listen to what they sound like right now all right and there we are that is that stutter that we are looking for so let's do a little bit of review here okay number one make sure that you use the scissors tool to cut certain pieces of audio out of your main audio file that you want to be stuttered okay number two option click and drag copy those audio those pieces of audio out over a certain period of time alright number three since you're cutting in the middle of the waveform make sure that you add those fade ins and fade outs so none of that clipping or um, none of that popping occurs which is something you do not want to happen all right and finally finally and make sure you do this is create empty space in between your stutters so you can get that full stutter effect which is exactly what you want oh, I'm sorry all right well thanks for watching everyone this is Mitch with another logic pro 9 tutorial Pfft, hell yeah you know what I'm saying all right now if you have any questions over this video or other videos that I've done 
please hit me up in the comments or in a message. If you have suggestions, do the exact same thing. I am always accepting suggestions, so please do that. All right? And finally, comment, rate, subscribe like a freaking bass. Do it. Freaking do it. Peace.